welcome back it's Shelby and today I am making a jewelry piece out of the remnants of what was a previous video you might have caught my attempt at making a crystallized pen holder it didn't work out so well but what it did do was leave me with these really cool byproducts um, of borax crystal so this one's really pretty um, and I know the camera's not going to pick up all of the sparkles maybe a little bit look at that isn't that gorgeous Beautiful. So I have a lot of pieces like this, which I'm super obsessed with. Um, and today what I'm going to be doing is making a jewelry piece, not out of this one because it's like huge, um, but out of this little guy here. Isn't it cute? This one's perfect. I'm going to try and get a little bit more detail on that. This one's perfect because it's really pretty. Um, it's like a nice little diamond shape. It's like a good size. Um, it's thick, so it's not really like breaking and brittle, but it's also super flat on the back. Like see that? Perfect. I think it was like against the edge or something. But this is the piece that I'm using. Um, but I did want to show you all these cool ones, even though I showed you before because they're pretty awesome. So this is going to be my jewel, my jewel center. Um, and then I also have just like a necklace chain that you can pick up from the store. It's just, you can get whatever kind you want. And then I have a few pieces from the findings kit. Um, these are actually just links of a chain. And then this is just a circle. So what I'm going to do is loop the circle onto the links of the chain because they don't come that way and close it. And that's how it's going to attach to the necklace. So I'm just gonna pop that on there, maybe. There we go. So this is more like assembly than anything else, but it's just basically threading a necklace. And then what we're going to do is glue a gem onto here. I'm using hot glue for that. So I've got my hot glue, woo, we're trying to escape, warming up right here. And this is like literally so easy. All I'm gonna do is pop a drop of hot glue right on the back like that. Nice, big, yeah, you can see it's a lot. And then take the chain itself just glue it on and then I'm going to push it in but not with my fingers because it's hot and that is a mistake I've made before press it nice and flat just with another glue stick it doesn't really matter what you use and then pop another piece of piece a um, little dollop of glue on top to seal it and then just kind of smooth it out and I'm actually just going to trace hot glue around the entire back of it just so that the actual crystal isn't touching my skin because it is a little bit rough and hot glue isn't um, it's just soft and squishy so just creating a little clear barrier like that you see that yeah so that's the back of it that's the side so it's still nice and flat I'm keeping it totally flat Ooh, it's not completely dry yet and I touched it but we'll just move it down and then that's the front so I'm gonna let it dry before I put it on because otherwise it'll glue to my neck, which isn't great. Um, you can see, super fast, super simple. Um, the main time crunch of getting this crystal was making the borax, but I'm gonna link below if you don't know how to make borax crystals. Basically all you do is you get the borax, which I will link below so you can get it. Um, and you know, boil a pot of water and pour as much borax in as you possibly can. Um, until it starts to basically overflow and stir until it goes clear and if the water goes clear add more borax Just keep adding and stirring until no more will dissolve And you will end up with crystals. That was in English with crystals <laughs> um, And the thing is that if it collects on the side of the pan and you can't get it clean Which was kind of a panic mode for me because watching all the tutorials of how to make borax crystals They didn't really address that and I was left with a pot with like crystals along the side. I uh, just fill it full of water again and heat it until like they start to melt on the side and then you can just like break them off in chunks, which is how I got this. So it just leaves really cool chunks. They're a little bit brittle right when they come out. They're a little bit fragile feeling um, when they're soaked with water, but just leave them out to dry and then they just kind of like condense down and they're great. Um, so I think this one might be dry. Yes, it is, fantastic. So I'm gonna put it on. What do you think? I think it's cute. 
super cute, really easy. Each one's gonna be a unique shape. If you make um, colored borax crystals, you can have whatever color you want. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. I'm gonna zoom in and do some pictures, but I will link everything you need down in the description below along with my socials. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.